Okay, so here's how to create this grain effect in Photoshop. So file, new, you can do it in any canvas size. I'm gonna use 10 by 10 uh, with resolution of 200. You can just pause it for these settings. Okay, so then I'm gonna create a new uh, layer here. Go to solid color. Uh, any color will do, because it's uh, just so we can go to blending options. Just right click on it, blending options. Go to gradient overlay. For gradient overlay, you can choose any of these settings here, linear, radial, angle. Uh, I'm gonna go with angle, but you can just go with linear uh, and it's, it's completely up to you. But if you do go with angle, you're gonna wanna follow the next step quite carefully. So then click okay. And then on this layer still, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, um, if you did do linear, you won't have to follow this step, but you're just going to want to bring it up until you don't see that uh, cut there. So here's good. I'm going to go about here and then click OK. And then what you're going to want to do is pretty much the last proper step to actually getting the uh, effect is filter, noise, add noise, and you're just going to want to add as much as you want really. I like to not make it too obvious because that doesn't look great. Uh, around around 20 is pretty good. And then we'll click OK. Now, you have got the effect now, but you might want to make it a bit more obvious. So, or a bit darker, you know, make the effect stand out a bit more. So we're going to do Control J to copy. And then we're going to go to Normal, uh, Multiply. And just bring that opacity down a bit. Uh, 25 is good 23 around 20 wherever you want it and then uh, we're gonna do create another solid color here solid color and we're gonna go all the way to black in the very edge and then here on normal we're gonna go to overlay and then back to opacity and then bring that down a bit and that just makes it a little more clear Obviously, you can experiment with that. Um, so yeah, this looks good. Now, once you've got that, you've pretty much done the effect. So that is how you get the grain effect in Photoshop.